morning, day two. So it's 6.20, we've just set off, literally just left. I'm really sunburned. Yeah, so 20 past six, we've just set off. Um, 20 minutes later than we hoped, but we were eating bacon sandwiches. Feeling good, feet were a bit sore, but that's to be expected. Um, need the muscles to warm up now. We're back on the worst walking conditions I've ever walked on, um, which is this, awful. car trail. We're going to get some good hours under our belt and get to that finish line. 50k ahead of us, day two. We're over 50% now. Whatever happens, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. So we're at the 54k mark. How are we feeling? Yeah, feet are a bit sore. This is, but yeah, not too feel alright. Yeah. Aches have eased off. Yeah, it is hard going this morning. The enthusiasm for what we're doing is slightly different this morning to yesterday morning. Yeah, it's very different. How did you sleep in the tent? Uh, about every t woke up about seven times. Yeah. Except for about half an hour, then woke up. It weren't like comfy. Sleeping on the ground, we had a mat about that thick inside a sleeping bag in a two man tent, which was about five foot long. And we're both <laughs> over six foot. Um, wasn't ideal. But it's part, all part of the adventure, all part of the fun. Uh, and to be fair, we did probably get a few hours kit but uh, we've had a healthy breakfast this morning. And uh, yeah, we're, we're out on the trail. Trying to get a pace up that gives us a fighting chance of finishing this towards the end. The faster we go now means we have more time at the end for our own pace. But as I say, the enthusiasm this morning is nowhere near what it was yesterday. But we're going. And we're making headway, we're still here, we're still doing it, we haven't stopped, we haven't given up, and we don't intend to. Morning. Morning. Hiya. Have you got the camera? I have. Just to prove I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just coming up to pit stop one. It's just up here around the bend. This is one heavy camera. And so far I've carried it nearly 60K. So 
pole along the along the route. Yeah. My favourite cliche we've had so far: <laughs> two fat blokes walking along. Everyone that's walked past us, just one foot in front of the other, that's just it. keep going. I've done that, about 27 times today. Yeah. Uh, what else have we had? Uh, mind over matter. Mind over matter. That's a Ridgeway classic. Just keep going. Nearly there. You're over halfway. Why the f are you doing this? <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been good though. The camaraderie from the participants has been phenomenal. The pit stop crew have been brilliant. Everyone's so friendly. I know we said that yesterday, but they are. Pit stop crew, they, they're brilliant. Next, yeah, second to none. They can't do enough for you. The facilities at base camp were brilliant. The showers, phenomenal. A hot shower when we got back last night. There was a beer tent. I was surprised it was hot actually at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. So we're coming up to a kilometre marker 63 now. 63 kilometers that puts us about 13k so far today in the process of being flattened. Yeah. The famous black coat. Rock pit stop seven. 35k to go. We need to get to pit stop eight quite quickly and we're not sure how far it is. We're assuming the next one now is over 13k. Between the last pit stop on this pit stop we did just under 6k a mile. 6k a mile? 6k, 6K an hour. We've just drunk our body weight in energy drinks. We should be able to pull that back. But um, yeah, phenomenal pit stops, phenomenal. So much stuff. All right, I think you've got a bit sore. But yeah. They eased off. We've Which seized up now. Stopped. Yeah. It's because we had a good pace going. We should have ideally keep going, but it's risky because it's yeah, kind it's of Russian roulette, it's isn't it? It's 13K for the next one. Yeah, it's, it's Russian roulette because if you don't stop at these pit stops and fuel up, so that's 67K down. That leaves us 33K until the finish line. Oh, 33K. Let's do this. Hi. Give us a wave then on camera. Hi. <laughs> Make it worth carrying it. <laughs> so we've just absolutely smashed out those last two kilometers. We have indeed. Uphill as well. One of them was uphill, all yeah. the way. 11, 11 minutes up the hill. Steep, okay. 1K hill. 11 minutes up that hill. Amazing. Amazing. That's a good pace, over 5K an hour. 5.5K five an hour up a hill is bloody good. So, suffering now though. Considering we're pushing 75K, 75K? Uh, we're up to 72 next marker. 72. So considering we're pushing 72K now, we're actually making really good time. The next big milestone is going to be 80k. That's the next big milestone. I think that's where the next pit stop is, isn't it? Yeah, around that point. There's the road behind us. And that's where we've got to go. I'm really f***ing struggling now. The main A road, walking up, it can only be described as the longest hill ever. Oh. <sighs> 75 k Paul. Halfway there. Halfway. <laughs> hell. Oh. Doesn't look it from here, but that was one of the hardest hills it, we've done. It does, when you look down there, the road. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what kind of trail's this? This isn't very good for shorts, <laughs> is it? Stinging nettles. Oh, sh <sighs> 78k, 
and we are 1.2k from the next pit stop. That's pit stop number eight, and we've got just over 15 miles left to go. The muscles in the back of our legs are on fire. The only good news is the blisters are so bad, or well, I don't know if they're blisters, but the, our feet are so bad that the pain has just got so bad it's gone, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but. Pit stop number eight, 79. 79.2. You carried that the whole way? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Is it worth it? Oh shit. No. <laughs> How have you found it? Um, yeah, yeah, I've carried it the whole way. Have I found it? It was it was alright until about 10k. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just um, we're going through the motions now. You're doing really well. Yeah. Really well. Thanks. <laughs> You've done like three of them, you've done last three weekends. Yeah. <laughs> the 80k mark now we've left pit stop number eight yeah we're feeling better we've had some sweets we've had coffee we've rehydrated we pop blisters we've pop blisters we've in we've attached new plasters so um, 20k left to go now we're on the home stretch it's 8k to the next pit stop which were famous last words but we'll probably won't hang around in for too long We've said that at every one. Um, but yeah, we haven't. We, we've been quite quick in the pit stops. Some of the pit stops, we were only in for minutes. I think that's made the difference. I think the fact that we've actually taken the necessary time to rehydrate and eat. Because I think the worst thing you could do is go 20, you know, 20k without, without drinking or eating. So um, anyway, yeah, we've, we've got the homeward stretch left to go. Paul, do you want some... Do you want some sweets? No, I'm fine, thank you. You sure? I'm alright. Do you want a crunchy? I'm fine. You sure? No, I'm alright. Okay. So that is 88k now. We've got 12k until we finish. And we're just about to walk into the last pit stop. Pit stop nine. Thank God. Oh. Pit stop nine. Yes, get in. We've yeah, made it. Well done. Chris. Mate. Yes, mate. I remember you from yesterday. Yeah. Well, you, you said mate, pit stop nine, and I said, and I thought I never said it. I thought I'll be lucky if I make it. No, no. Well, I'm pleased. You to have. See you. Yeah, we've done it. Rest here, mate. Take on fluids. You've got seven miles to go. Yeah. Yeah. It's fairly level, bit undulating. Get to this tarmac road after five miles. Downhill to the stones, mate. That's Enjoy it. that bit. Home run. Middle at the end, you deserve it. Yeah. Go and get it. It's yours. Cheers, well man. Well done. Yeah. Thank you very much. I don't know why I'm smiling. I'm in so much pain. Pit stop nine. So we've just left the pit stop. That's the last pit stop. It's We've had melon, banana, some peanut butter and jam sandwiches. We've got 12K. We're gonna smash out these 12K. We've just been told that this is apparently the easiest part of the course. It's relatively downhill, relatively flat. So with the exception of the fact that our bodies are broken and our feet don't belong to us, we should be in a good place now. 12K to go. See you on the finish line. 
nice part of the country to walk in as well, isn't it? No, not 100k. About man. 3k part of it. Yeah. Right? We've walked non stop for 24 hours so far yeah. in two days. That's amazing, isn't it? 100k. It won't be happening again. No. <laughs> You'd be lucky if I drive 100k at weekend. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Can we run through some of your sayings from the weekend? <laughs> For the video. Not on camera, I don't, no. think I don't think we can repeat them, can we? So Paul's come up with literally a saying for every scenario. Paul's been a big motivation this weekend. To walk it with him has been fantastic. And uh quite quite yeah. Yeah. It's been really good. Yeah, it's been uh it's been a good weekend. I mean it's not been particularly relaxing. No, no. But I've had more relaxing weekend. It has been a good experience. And I'm pleased I did it with you, mate. Yeah, no, I'm really enjoyed it. That's making a massive assumption we don't fall out in the no. next 10k. Yeah. <laughs> 11. Oh, right, don't correct me. <laughs> I've never wanted something to end so much in all my life. I have it on firm authority, you, you've got gin for... Uh, I couldn't possibly for... come in. <laughs> this is not what everybody does after they've done the notch, right? <laughs> Fair play. That terrain was fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks lovely. Give me a wave. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Quick, hurdle it. How are we doing? This is hard going, isn't it? That finish line. You can almost hear it. We're giving people names along the way. People that we see regularly. Yeah. Your camera guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you find them? Yeah, we did. Thank you. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Are they okay? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're in good spirits, but uh, yeah. a bit broken. But you know. yeah. <laughs> uh, I know how they feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for Grace, we've got random. We even have hugs, and we've got dancing. <laughs> I'll definitely have some water. You'd like some water? Alright, hand it over. Would you like you can spray? even keep walking and I'll fill it up for you. Oh, thank you. How are you feeling? You okay? No. You've done so well. Would you like a spray? No, thank you. Okay. Thanks very much though. Anything else? Yeah, can I get a cheer for my camera? Yeah! Woo! <laughs> What's your name? My name's Ryan. Well done, Ryan, you're amazing! Thank you. <laughs> and Paul. Well done, Paul! <laughs> well done, Ryan. You are the champion! <laughs> Thanks, ladies! Thank you. What? So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the stones. Yeah. And then have a nice okay. picture. Uh -huh. And turn around and come back and see us in a few minutes. What? And then we'll, and then we'll send you off around this field. Are you crazy? No. No, you're crazy. Yeah, that is true. See you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. There he is. Approaching 98 case. Just in about 20 meters. 98. Well done, guys. Well done, well done, gents. Well done. Well done. Keep going. Well done, well played. And you. This just seems wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. It's so wrong. I uh, was like getting angry. I was like, what's I know. The point? This you is psychotic. Me. Well played, though. Sound. Well done. Well done, guys. Well played. Yes. How much further to the stones? No, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Come on, mate. Oh. Well done, pal. How are we doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? I am better. I'm now at the stones. Do you know what I've been doing? I'm going to hazard a guess you've been vlogging. I've been racing to these for two days. And I've been vlogging as well, yeah. How are you? No, I'm cool. <laughs> Yeah. Well done. Woo! Where do we go this way? Tell 
Oh. Finished. I'll, I'll be going this way because they told us to go up there before. Yeah, no, no, that was a mistake. <laughs> okay. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye, Thank you. 99. 99k. I've got 99 problems, Paul, and everything is one of them, including my feet. We've got an achievement coming. Yeah. We've got. We're about 0.5k from 100k. I've carried this for 100k. Wow. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Good work. Thank you. That's allowed. Good work. See you next year. Scarlett. Mad. Who wants some sultanas? Yes. Oh, do you want the sultanas? Why'd you take them? The sultanas and raisins. I've got a crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> She's a rag. Millie, do you want some uh, oh. strong mints? Yeah. So, I did it. I completed Race to the Stones. I completed it, it took me 26 or so hours, 26 or so hours of non-stop walking, but I did it in the end. Hardest thing I've ever done, however, one of the best experiences I've ever had. I'm flabbergasted by how far 100K really is. You never really quite understand that distance until you've actually walked it. Uh, however, prep is absolutely crucial. One thing I would say is that the first 30K, when you first start the race, the energy is high, the vibe is electric, you're in a really good mood, especially if you're doing it with other people. The beginning of the race is brilliant. However, when you get to around the 25, 30K mark, things really do change. Your body starts aching, you start hurting, pain sets in, aches set in, tiredness, the energy levels drop, and your mentality really does become um, quite negative potentially quite negative if you allow it. One of the hardest parts was going to sleep on the Saturday night and then waking up again Sunday morning. We had about four hours sleep and to motivate yourself in the morning to go back out on that trail and do another 50K was very, very difficult. And then again, you reach a point in that walk where mentally you become very tired and your whole mentality changes. You, 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 you start thinking about wanting to stop. All you wanna do is sit down and you literally don't give a shit about anything other than wanting to cross that finish line. I've never wanted something to end so much. But then something happens where you start to realize that actually you can do this. You start to realize that this is something which you can achieve and it's something which you can do. Uh, and then you realize that you're only a few K from the finish line and you keep pushing forward. Um, and with the exception of them making you walk past the finish line, which was again very, very difficult, uh, this was a brilliant race and I really enjoyed it. Between Paul and myself, we raised over two and a half grand for our charities. And I just want to say a big, big thank you to everybody that donated to me personally and also to Paul as well. It made a huge difference to us and knowing that we were doing this for such a great cause really, really did help. One final point I just want to leave you on is literally just to say well done to all of the volunteers, all of the crew members that were involved in Race to the Stones. You guys made it a truly great event, and I genuinely mean that as well. The atmosphere was electric. Uh, well done to every single participant. The mere fact that you turned up on that start line and entered into what would be a gruelling 100k run or walk, regardless of how you did it, is phenomenal. And you should be truly proud, whether you finished or not. Just turning up on that start line with the intention of finishing uh, really does beat all odds. So well done. Um, and a big shout out to everybody that finished as well, because that, uh, that is an amazing achievement. Thank you for watching this video. And if you've reached this point, thank you for staying with me. Um, these, uh, these two days meant a lot to me. And uh, it's great to be able to tick it off as completed. However, I keep saying never again. <laughs>